Hey, today we're going to talk about how to write the investment speech or the made of honor speech. Let's get started. Hey everybody, it's me Henry and welcome to my channel, a channel to provide values for those who want to improve their speaking skills and bring more impact to the audience. Just like today, I'm going to talk into detail step by step on how to write the best man speech or the maid of honor speech. And if you are selected as a best man or the maid of honor, congratulations because you are going to play one of the important roles in a wedding event and if you're looking for the ideas and the tips how we're gonna write this you are at the right channel right video because in a short while i'm gonna share with you everything i know about how to write this speech and you have to make sure stay until the end of this video and to grab all those ideas and tips now before we start the speech now first of all a few things you need to know which is this speech is mainly for to tell how happy you are for them as a couple that you have to say something which is good which is positive and wishes to the couple and the second thing is you have to make sure you need to know this is not a speech competition so don't compare yourself with anybody else just be yourself tell the real story and present the real you so this is how you present yourself and coming up the next thing is keep it short and sweet so meaning to say approximately five to ten minutes and the next thing is you can hold a piece of paper with your script tablet or your smartphone just to read it out the story or if you are looking to the next level presentation skill that you can control 50 percent looking on your script and 50 percent on the engagement eye contact and all those things and if you can 100 percent tell the story to tell the speech without the paper that i would say this is a bonus but i would say not everybody is perfect and it is okay for you to hold a piece of paper or the script it is totally fine and the final thing before we start that you need to know is you have to control limit your alcohol if you are going to have the alcohol if you're going to drink the alcohol control yourself be sure you're saying something which is you are clear you know what you're saying because this is only once in a lifetime please don't mess this up now have to make sure all this thing before we start this and if you are a funny guy then i would say this is a bonus that you can make everybody laugh and this is a very memorable speech and if you are not that kind of a funny guy it is completely fine that you just tell the story how happy you are the best wish to the couple it is completely fine so be yourself be relaxed and now we know the objective of this speech is to tell how happy you are for them as a couple and then it's time for us to draw the story line to plan how you're going to start a story and in the middle of a story and how you end the story so let's get started how you start a story your speech which is is very easy when you come to stage just you can hold a piece of paper and just greet with everybody introduce yourself with this smiling face you see when you are smiling that you're making yourself relaxed and comfortable that everybody is chill everybody is happy waiting for your speech and it's completely fine just relax don't stress yourself right it should be a happy session so you have to introduce yourself hi everybody it's me henry and tell how happy you are to be invited as best man or the maid of honor be here to deliver the speech i'm so honored to be here i'm so happy to be here just talk about your feeling and right after the introduction that you can straight away give the credits to birth parents that they're supposed to have all this for spending the time to prepare such a wonderful event and raising such a wonderful man and woman and today is the best day thanks to both parents and right after the thank you session that you can straight away to have some fun with your story start with how did you meet the group if you are the best man talk about how did you meet the groom and if you are made of honor talk about how did you meet the bride and you can start to talk about a little story and what are the things that you learn from the groom or the bride and you can chip in some funny story this is the moment to talk about funny things that you can remember to talk about between you and the bride or the groom 
start to talk about this and people start to laugh to start to relax they all enjoy the story you see people love to listen to the story and coming up next we are jumping into the meat of the story which is the main content that you are talking about the couple the main story talking about the couple and at this session you have to make sure it is appropriate it is positive and it is suitable to all audience consider kids and adults so if you're having jokes or dirty jokes so you have to consider all this up next you can talk about how did your friend describe the groom or the bride during the first date and you can talk about how excited he was or she was during the first meet and you can talk about this and the next idea you can talk about what was the groom or the bride like before meeting this person and this is the moment everybody wants to know what was the groom or the bride like before this people want to know because this is like a top secret come on i want to know so this is the fun moment that everybody is is exciting people want to know and the next idea that you can talk about the different after they got together so you can talk about this before and after so this is a moment you can add in a lot of funny story about the groom or the bride it depends on your status again if you are the best man talk about the groom and if you are the maid of honor talk about the bride this is a moment you can talk about something which is funny but you have to feel that which is suitable for the audience and after the funny things you talk about them the next thing is how would you describe the two together and if you have the funny stories on this you can add in a little bit more then you can make the story even more interesting and here i have some ideas to share with you to make your stories become even more interesting if you are making some jokes you can add in some pauses when you are making some jokes so you can pause a little while when you are making some jokes and to give your audience some time to digest your jokes and laugh and after all the highlights the jokes and this is time for you to slowly end your speech so you can end your speech with the best wishes to the couple and wish a couple to have a wonderful marriage happily ever after that you can search from google all the best wishes to your best buddy the groom or the bride it again depends on your status to wish them a wonderful marriage and right after your wishes you can end the speech with a toast by asking everybody let us all raise a glass and give a toast to the lovely couple and together cheers and then your speech and and thank you that's it you see how easy is that and for those who are looking for the ideas on how to improve your public speaking skills whether you are best man maid of honor sister the brothers of the groom of the bride i would recommend you to watch my previous foundation videos such as how to be confident your hand gesture body language eye contact and i believe once you have all this foundation together with the ideas that your speech i strongly believe is going to be fantastic and memorable and hey if you find values and learn something from this video you gotta smash the subscribe button and turn on all the notifications so that you're not gonna miss out any videos such as this from this channel and please leave your comments below let me know what you think I would love to read your comment and reply to your comment and I hope to see you in the next video mm -hmm.